Campus Real friends. My name is Brie Andrewsy. I'm from south of Boston and I go to, to the University of Michigan here in Ann Arbor. Uh, and I'm super weird, so hopefully I can make this tour not boring for you. And welcome to the University of Michigan. We're gonna take a quick look at the hill. So this is Mary Markley. Um, and we're looking at the front side right now. So this is the side door that I usually head through. You need your key card to get in. Um, so this is the front side right here. I live on this side. And then this is like just kind of the middle area with some study lounges. And that's the back side. So the only way to get from one side to the other is the fourth floor or the first floor. And then you can kind of see just like a road back there. Right through this tunnel, we're gonna see another dorm on the hill. So this is Mosher Jordan. It has a dining hall, a pretty big one, so most of the, the people in the dorms over here go there. And then if you look to the right of it, you can see Alice Lloyd. And then right where I'm about to point, that's gonna be where the wind tunnel was and where Markley is. And if we keep walking um, to our left, we're gonna see Stockwell. So this is where sophomores and upperclassmen can stay. And then if we keep walking towards Central Campus, we get a look at the backside of Mojo. So right there where the tall glass windows are, that's where the dining hall is. Um, it looks out on Palmer Field and some tennis courts. Alrighty, so here's everyone's favorite place, the gym, also known as the CCRB and the Central Campus Recreational Building. So this gym is for the students on the hill and it has four floors, and honestly, it's kind of confusing. So the first floor has a little like gym center or a little room, and it also has a bunch of treadmills, stair stepper, the elliptical, bikes, um, just a bunch of cardio stuff. And then if you go a floor above, we're gonna see the gym. So a lot of basketball, like intramural basketball is played here. And then the third floor is kind of where it gets confusing. So there's a bunch of different rooms um, with different equipment. So over here is kind of like the pro shop if you need to rent anything or check anything out. There's also a window where you can see the floor below with all the cardio. So this room, I actually spend a lot of time in because it has dumbbells and a lot of space for ab workouts. And then I go on the rowing machine in here. Then this room has a lot of the equipment machines and space for people to use dumbbells as well. And this is a larger room for people to do leg workouts, which leads into a smaller room where people do ab workouts. Fourth floor, this is where the track is. Um, I don't really use it honestly that much, but I know a couple of friends who do. All right, so one of my favorite places on campus is the Law Library. So currently I'm in the Law Quad, but the Law Library is basically a really quiet place for students to do work. Um, if you like drop a pencil, people will stare at you, but it's gorgeous inside just because of the lights and just the environment. It's uh, just, honestly, you just have to see for yourself. So I'm gonna take a video inside, can't make any noise. Um, it's split up in two halves, so one half is just for the law students and the other half is for everybody else, so you're lucky if you can find a spot. But let's go take a look. Very serious. So as you can see, it's really quiet in here. To the right of me, that was where the law students go, and to the left is where um, any student from the U of M can sit. Here's a look at the law quad. Um, the courtyard is really open. A lot of people in the spring and summer like to sit over here and just hang out. It's a really good location too, so if you right, walk right through that, you'll be right by the ugly and near east quad and south quad. All right, so this video is gonna be about the Diag and undergraduate library. So right here, you can kind of see like the outside of the Diag and then this is a little part of the greenery before you get to the actual Diag in the center. So as you can see, it's a little bit snowy out just because it's the winter and we are in Michigan. 
And right here, we're getting to the center of the Diag, so there's a lot of buildings surrounding it. That's the Hatcher Graduate Library. Right in front of the library, you can see the Brass M. There's a myth if you step on it, you'll fail your first Blue Book exam. Now here's the Shapiro Undergraduate Library. So there's four floors in a basement. So basically the first floor is kind of just like information services desk. There's Burt's Coffee. Um, and if you walk in, it's a nice space to do like group projects. There's a computer showcase, which is super helpful. I like to sit at these long tables when I'm just running in quick to the ugly to do some work and then just head out. And then in the basement, this is where you pick up your books if you order the Barnes & Noble textbooks online. And then the second floor, this is just filled with um, a bunch of spaces. There's a computer space and then there's some study spaces also available. On the third floor, there's just a bunch of space to do homework. Um, my favorite is the desks by the windows. Um, it's usually like four chairs and you get to hang out with your friends and I think it's just a great view. And then on the fourth floor is the science library. Um, these desks are, I've sat at them once, they're very spacious so it's nice. And then if you want to work alone, they also have single desks. So this is the place where most undergraduates hang out and do homework. So here's a Mosher Jordan's dining hall. This is my favorite dining hall. Not only because it's so gorgeous inside, but because it has like the perfect amount of options. Um, so they have a big old toast station, they have a sandwich spot, they have a salad bar, and then they also always have pizza out, and they have a vegan section, which is really nice. Um, drinks are just delightful. They always have pink lemonade and water, which are my favorites. And you can look out the windows to see the tennis courts and Palmer Field. Um, so Moshe Jordan also has like a coffee tea section, which most of the dining halls have. An ice cream bar and the best cookies. They also have a cereal bar and then here's where you put your dishes when you're all done. So that is Mojo's dining hall. All right, so this video is gonna be about like my favorite places. So the Michigan League, which is located on Central Campus. Um, I just love this place because it's really pretty and it's a great place to study. They have comfy seats and they also have a cafe, which is um, really nice to just grab a snack and chill out. Um, they also just have like a really pretty hallway, lots of like wood, and they have a theater, which holds a lot of events at. In the basement of the league is the underground. It has a bunch of different tables um, and seats where people can sit and study. And then it also has the ticket office here. Then this coffee shop called The Lab um, is one of my favorite places just because it's really pretty inside. The light shines through and just like gives me energy to study. Um, they have this one drink, a honey lavender latte, which is amazing. Um, and then my last favorite place is Wilma's. It used to be called Fred's. Um, so this place, I just really like the feel of it, the look. Um, it's super relaxing to chill in here. They have really good acai bowls and avocado toast. Um, so I just come here when I want something other than like dining hall food. Although I love this place, I only come here every so often just because the prices are a little expensive. But as you can see, this coffee and avocado toast look amazing, so can't resist. Um, but enjoy college! <laughs>